Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React JS tutorial. So part of this video, let me explain routing. So we can start from what is routing. This routing is nothing but an URL pattern matching. Based on the URL change, we can match this URL with the specific component. Okay. After that, we can load the particular content in our component in our display page. This is all about the concept. But in the basic React application, we don't have an inbuilt functionality of router. So for that, we have to install some additional packages. The package name is React Router DOM. So the latest version of React Router DOM is 6.4, I believe. So if you want to install this lower version, then you have to provide the version name. So anyway, let me take this command. I'm going to my application. Let me install it. Okay, the installation gets completed. Let me show in our package.json. So you can see the version 6.4.1 is installed. So using this package, let me explain routing in our application. So my idea is I'm going to create three menus. The first one is home, then contact and about us. So for each and every page, let me create the component first. So the first one is home. Here I'm going to use one H2 tag. Welcome to home page. So the similar way I'm going to create two more components. So the next one is for contact. I'm providing the text is contact page. Okay. And the final one is about us. Okay, we have created all our components and one more component is required uh, for having all of our menus. So the common name is app header. So here I'm going to create three menus. So the first one is home and the second one is contact. And the third one is about us. So each items have this href. But we don't know what value we are supposed to give in this href. So now complete my routing logic. So in our app component, I am going to import our installed package. react uh, router DOM so here I'm going to use the browser router then routes and also route so these three items I'm going to use and also let me remove the existing content here and here I'm going to call our app header first Okay, this is fine and also I'm going to use this uh, browser router so uh, let me move this app header inside our browser router so after that we can use this routes option so inside these routes we have to specify our individual route okay let me format it so the first route so in this route the first property is path so I'm going to give home and then we have to map the relevant component okay for that we have the option is element so inside the element we can specify our component name 
so let me use this home component okay we have done the similar way I'm going to map our two more components I mean two more routes the second one is contact okay great it should be imported here also it's fine and the third one is about for that I'm going to use our about as component okay we have done the routes now let me use these paths in our app header page okay and the second one is contact and the third one is about now I'm going to run our application we can see the existing output so see the existing output so we have these three links uh, but the design is not that much good so let me include some styles so after so background color is blue and this textile line should be left and also I'm going to create one more class so padding should be 5 for this anchor tag color should be white so class is ready let me call in our app header okay see now it's a mod better okay you can see this menu and there are three links so now I'm going to click this home see now the home the URL is changed and also you can see this text from our home component welcome to home page next the contact so it's showing this contact page now I am clicking this about us so it's showing our about page so but the problem is if you clearly noted when I am I am clicking this link so the page is completely refreshed okay it will create some performance issue currently we don't have that much data so it's loaded fine otherwise for every time it's refreshing the page it's not the fair option so for that we have the one more option so instead of using this anchor tag we can use this link option so it's also provided from our react router DOM only so let me use that controls so for using this one first we have to import it so reactor router DOM and link okay so let me use this uh, link tag here so then instead of this href we are going to use this two option so here let me mention my path name the first one is home and then contact so let me save it now if you noted so in the design point of view there is no changes why because even our link also converted into a anchor tag only so you can see this uh, anchor tag only but the difference is let me show you so currently I'm in this about us page now I'm going to click this home so you can see this URL is changed and also the text is changed but if you clearly noted in this refresh area it's nothing will happen now I'm going to click this contact see just URL is changing and this component is just to switch it but the page is not refreshed if you are using this link tag but if I am trying to use this home, this is our existing anchor tag. See the page is refreshed, you can see. Just note this one. So whenever I am clicking, it is just refreshing. But if you are using this uh, link controls, it will be fine, okay? So this is all about the difference between link and anchor tag. And also hopefully you got some better idea about this routing also. 
so in our next video i am going to explain how to pass some parameters in our uh, routing and also how to get in our application that we can see detailed in our next video please stay tuned for my next video thank you thanks for watching still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you